Associate Professor and Head, Research Department of English, the American College Madurai, Tamil Nadu. And he deliberated at length on the topic, Methods of Learning English as a Second Language and Assessment. The session was indeed a huge success with 83 attendees. Now, it fills me with immense delight to welcome the resource person of today's session, Dr. Vidju MJ, Assistant Professor and Research Supervisor, Research and PG Department of English, St. Thomas College, Trishur, Kerala. Also, I welcome every participant present today to attend this session. Now, let me take this opportunity to introduce our resource person to you. Dr. Viju MJ is an academician and scholar with 25 years of experience in teaching and a wide range of, range of credentials. He has been serving as an assistant professor and also as a research supervisor at St. Thomas College, Trishur, Kerala since 2013. He received his PhD in English from MG University, Kottayam in 2016 with a focus on application of ICT in communicative language learning. He also holds a postgraduate diploma in teaching of English from the English and Foreign Language University, Hyderabad. He has more than 20 publications on ICT, web technologies and ELT in a variety of national and international journals and has written a book on ICT enabled teaching in English classrooms. He is a member of Board of Studies at Bharatiya University, Nehru Arts and Science College Coimbatore and St. Thomas College Trishur. He also acts as an assessor for IGNU and Kerala Veterinary and Animal Science University. He is on the editorial boards of scholarly publications and magazines. He is serving as the project guide for Aspire Scholars of Higher Education Department of Kerala. And at present, he is guiding four PhD scholars at the center. And he was given the Best Citizen of India Award for Research in 2020 by the International Publishing House, New Delhi. Once again, welcome you, sir. And the session is all yours now, sir, please. Thank you, Ms. Swadi. Thank you. Can I begin? Audible? Is it audible, madam? Yes, yes, sir. You're audible and the video is also clear. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. It's my pleasure being at the webinar of Sarsadiya College, Kotagara. I would like to convey my special thanks to Reverend Dr. Father Davis Chenganeyadan, the director of Kazardaya College. Reverend Dr. Matthew Paul, who can principal of the college. Professor Dr. Sanil Raj Johnson, my previous colleague at St. Thomas at the same time, is the present HOD of Department of English, Kazardaya College. Dr. John Shager, who was the resource person last day. Dr. Saumya, who will be the speaker next day. All other teachers of Sarvadiya College. The coordinator of the program, Ms. Sheena. Other faculties involved, Ms. Betty Joseph. and also all the participants from different institutions in India and also from Sagarbaya College. It's my pleasure being to deliver a, a small talk on ICT for ELT, application of information communication technology in English language teaching. Let me move on to my PPT. Please pardon me. Mr. 
Sheena, please, could you please start the presentation from there? Sure, sir. Miss Anu, we shall start the presentation. I have some issues here. Sure. Miss Anu, we shall start the presentation. My topic is information and communication technology, ICT for English language teaching, that is ICT for ELT, a paradigm shift in teaching of English language and literature. It's a very highly relevant topic today, as we are living in an era of ICT. It's very relevant to talk about what's its importance in English language teaching. Can you move on to the next slide, please? Can you move on to the next slide? Otherwise, let me try. Can you see the slide now? Hello, madam. Ms. Anu, if there is any difficulty, you can uh, stop sharing and then restart. Oh, no. Let me move on with my view, okay? Sure. Sir. We are living in an era of uh, ICT. So that's why Walter McKinney says, a new age demands a new paradigm. He's a professional from US having 30 plus years of experience in transforming the education and technology. And he said, we are living in a new age and is demanding a new paradigm. Then we talk about languages. We can see around 6,500 languages throughout the world. And this language is the factor of communication. And we can share our thoughts and feelings with others through languages. When we talk about English, English has emerged as an international language, world language, global language, and linked language. These attributes are given to only one language that is English language. Now it is spoken by around 1.3 billion speakers, nearly native 370 million, and non native speakers are 898 million people. And science, arts, business, medicine, engineering, and education, all areas of our life were influenced by English. It is having a competitive role within the era of globalization. When we talk about information explosion, at the same time, we are in an era of ICT. This language becomes a means of the foremost means of communication throughout the world. That's why we call English as a global language. When I talk about this area, I would like to differentiate mainly two terms, ICT and ELT here. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technologies. Previously, we call it as IT only. That is information technology. But later, we have added the terms communication. That's why it provides access through telecommunications. So generally we can say computers, mobile phones, internet, wireless network, 
and all communication mediums comes under the term ICT. Whereas ELT, that you know, English language teaching, it deals with the improving the students' language skills and equip them with the, how they can succeed in their education and in their life. And also it's dealing with the language pedagogy that is the art of teaching language. There are different methods of teaching in English from traditional methods, grammar translation methods, bilingual methods, communicative methods, situational approaches, communicative approaches, and after that, we gained or we came to a new method of teaching that is ICT for LT, ICT for language teaching or ICT for English language teaching. When we introduce ICT, we can say it is a part of science and technological development in our world. And it has impacted every ways of life today. So this technological advancement transformed the delivery of higher education too. And that's why we have to adopt new approaches in language teaching, especially in ELT. So that's why we are talking about integrating ICT into ELT. It is a very helpful tool for language learners and the educators. We say, what is ICT? ICT generally refers to electronic tools for transmitting, processing, storing, producing, displaying, sharing, and exchanging information. It encompasses communication tools like computers, mobile phones, and the internet. UNESCO has given a nice definition about ICT. UNESCO says ICT is a range of technological tools which is used to create, transmit, store, manage information and facilitate communication. What is the role of ICT in education? It is acting as a tool for teachers and students by supporting learning and instruction today. There also, UNESCO gives a uh, definition about its impact in education. Information and communication technologies can impact student learning when teachers are digitally literate and understand how to integrate it to, into curriculum. When we talk about computer assisted instruction, there are many terminologies like CAI, computer assisted instruction, computer aided instruction, CAI, computer assisted learning that is called computer based education, CBE, computer based instruction, CBI, computer enriched instruction, CEI. Computer Managed Instruction, CMI. So all these are some terminologies connected with computer assisted instruction or learning. So recently we talk about in new terminologies that is web after the arrival of WWW web, we call it as web-based training, web-based learning and web-based instruction. When we talk about this computer assisted instruction in language learning, we come across three main terms called computer assisted language learning, TEL, technology enhanced language learning, well, web enhanced language learning. Let me say a few words about computer assisted instruction, CAI. It is a self learning technique usually use a offline and online modes involving interaction of the students with the programmed instructional materials. 
computer assisted instruction we can say it is an interactive instructional technique a computer is used to present the instructional material and monitor the learning that takes place so generally cai uses combination of text graphics sound and video in enhancing the learning process cai also refers to the use of computer as a tool to facilitate and improve instruction so cai programs use tutorials drill practice simulation and problem solving approaches to present the topic and then test the students understanding there are different types of computer assisted instruction there we use drill and practice tutorials games simulations discovery problem solving etc when we come to ict for lt information communication technology for language teaching or language learning we come across wide level of tools or methods that we use in teaching and learning that is called cal computer assisted language learning kala cal computer assisted language assessment kali cli computer assisted language mol mal mobile assisted language learning tel technology enhanced language learning well wll web enhanced language learning moreover we come across the terms like blogs wiki email facilities digital libraries multimedia mobile learning free and open source software and social media all these aspects comes under the under uh, umbrella of ict for lt i would like to mention about call as we are learning with uh, uh, le uh, language learning would like to mention about call computer assisted language learning actually call is an abbreviation for computer assisted language learning it is an interactive method of instruction it helps learners achieve their goals of learning at their own pace and ability so students can work at their own pace and they can do at their ability there computer technology is used in teaching and learning procedures at all stages such as presentation practice and feedback we do the presentation there then we give the practice to the students and then we get the feedback of the students there are some advantages and disadvantages advantages for call for every aspect for every software that we can see so there are some advantages like it can create interest and motivation among students individualized learning is possible appropriate learning style can be adopted effective use of learning time and they will get immediate feedback and also at last they can do error analysis these are the some of the advantages of computer assisted language learning i would like to talk about disadvantages later let's see what are the tools of ict in elt generally saying the computer itself is the greatest tool of ict in elt is a foremost necessary tool for knowledge and communication and it is the backbone of recent human life we cannot think even a day without computer today because we need it for our everyday purposes and all the fashionable communication methods are done with the computers moreover it can be useful with the development of listening and speaking skills of students or the learners the second one is that is connected to 
ELT, that is overhead projectors. It is also a very vital tool for displaying data and process in our classrooms. And they are often employed in teaching and coaching personnel. And another tool associated with radio, it is also helpful in the education and coaching of the scholars, especially of rural areas. And also we can relay open education programs through radios. And also radio programs can be useful for the development of language skills, particularly teaching dialogues and dramas. Fourth one is the television. It is also found that it's a very useful developing to develop the listening skills, helpful in learning situational language. Television is highly useful. And also it is useful to understand the language of mass media. Students will get the chance to know what happens around them. Even we can give some assignments connected to television programs. Fifth item is internet. It is the foremost vital facility of communication today. It's created communication facility in no time, convenient, economic, and in engaging. Every time it is useful. There are countless facilities obtainable for communication on the internet, especially while we use social media. So social media also become a vital tool for communication today. It is a means of platform to share our thoughts and concepts. We are all familiar with the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. In all ways, using this, our students or our people can develop their language or it develop learning the situational languages. There are also, we you know, uh, 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 while we go through the tweets, the students or the people can learn new words. I think uh, recently Shashi Tharoor has mentioned a word as he is a global person. Now he has become a local person also. So that means he is trying to involve with the Kerala politics. So there have turned a new word that is local, global plus local. Such a new word is created by him. So while we go through this social media, even we are getting new words, new coinages are formed. So in that way also, social media are helpful for our language development. Other one is, there are online facilities for English language learning. Nowadays, we can talk about e-guidance, e-tutoring, e-teaching, e-journals, e-magazines, e-books, e-library, online coaching. Even my students, uh, some of them are attending online coaching, even for NEET and for other courses, available uh, e-books, electronic version of standard print book. We can browse different kinds of books through e-books, e-book platform. We can use iPods or Kindle for referring e-books. Even learners can share their ebooks with their friends. These books will strengthen students. Ebooks will create students 
uh, not creating skills. Other ICT tool is audio books. This is the first literature that we heard, not read. As Baskin and Harris mentioned in his book. Audio books are not the discovery of this century or in of the last one, considering the authentic books as equivalent to its content, not to its format. The use of audio books is highly struggling. Reluctant or second language learners is powerful since they can act as this can act as a scaffold that allows students to read above their actual reading. So audio books are also an ICT tool. Another, another tool that we use that is webinar that at present we are participating is the best example of online learning. This is an associate degree of interactive seminar conducted via using internet. Typically, it is a live presentation, lecture, workshop that happens in real time as users participate through chatting, video chatting, file sharing, or asking questions. So now most of the institutions take it as a pride conducting webinars, especially this, the post COVID era, most of the institutions are trying their best to conduct webinars. And at this moment, I would like to congratulate Sakhrudaya Kole for conducting such a webinar. Webinars are also very useful for learning descriptive linguistics. And another tool is mobile apps. So digital device like laptops, iPods, tablets, and phones can be used for learning English language. There are many um, stores, many play stores are available in our mobile itself or in, in our markets. So even students can participate in the QSUS games, they can refer dictionaries, podcasts, and, and they can attend tests using mobile apps. So that is also a great means of ICT tool. Another aspect is online language related courses. Now students are mostly attending online courses. Other than their college, they are doing personal courses, online courses. So they are getting chances to refer, move, prevent, edX, Coursera, all these platforms conducts online courses. And I can say even during a pandemic period, even one of my students in St. Thomas, she had done more than 100 course in course rights itself. So their students can watch online and offline videos of learning for the improvement of their language skills. Another aspect connected with the language learning is feature films in teaching English. Most of the teachers in literature classrooms use films as a medium to teach English language. These films can be documentaries, academics, or purely for recreation. So this will also arouse the high level motivation of our students. Now I would like to talk about what is the role of ICT in teaching and learning English language? We can say ICT is essential for teaching and learning English, whether it is a grammar, writing skill, 
reading and speaking all skills can be dealt using ICT and technology enhanced language learning has its, its own advantage, advantages it remove all our boundaries it increase our fun it have its own affordability flexibility and we can have our own assessment self assessment and by this we can keep our students more interested in learning but teachers have have to find their own means they have to adapt diverse learning styles in that way they have to make the content easier and and they have to develop accordingly and also there are many educational platforms we have already mentioned coursera skillshare future learn and moodle learn move all this can be introduced to our students to do online courses and to increase their knowledge in different areas what are the advantages of incorporating ict in english classes i would like to say ict provides motivation and also it gives a multimedia content for language learning in that way it can enhance the learning experience of students moreover ict english promotes self paced and independent learning students can learn themselves they can have their self evaluation even they can do self correction all this possible by the way is of ict so ict has evolved from computer assisted instruction to call computer assisted language learning because it it was as cai computer assisted instruction that that now moved to call computer assisted language learning and also innovative internet based techniques that is we call well web enhanced language learning ict also allows for customization of language learning components making it more engaging and effective ict offers authenticity in language learning enabling engagement with the people from around the world and in such a way it provide useful tools for content creation and retrieval as we have already mentioned two terms tell and well especially last day even john shaker sir mentioned about this but he skipped this tell and well and he had also mentioned that i will say something about so i would like to say something about tell and well while considering language learning this is the new terminologies that we can say technology enhanced language learning that is tell or in other ways or another term after the emergence of world wide web we have other term that is well web enhanced language learning first of all i would like to say about tell tell always stands for technology enhanced language learning that itself say that in language learning we mostly use technologies actually the tell is a replaced term of call computer assisted or computer aided language learning tell focuses on communication made possible by computers and using other forms of technology it also incorporates the use of current technology in english language learning or teaching and also tell means the use of virtual or video classroom and e classroom in our area of teaching or learning when we talk about well web enhanced language learning it is stands for incorporating the use of internet sources in language learning we know 
Whenever we have the doubt, we say just Google it. We do Google search and find whatever we want. So well embraces the idea that every space can be a learning space. It uses a learner-centered approach. Also, it includes the use of communication and collaboration systems such as group email and video conferencing. In such a way, we use all these aspects of web or internet in our teaching and learning. And that we can say we are well versed with well web enhanced language learning. What is the influence of TEL on educators of the 21st century? So we cannot go away from technology because incorporating technology is very essential for effective language teaching in the 21st century. So we say ICT literacy today, it is essential for both teachers and students. Even we people who are teachers may be digital immigrants, whereas students will be digital natives that already uh, last day John Sherrison has mentioned. So by using technology or ICT, we can effectively integrate, make use of technology into the classroom. Technology enhanced learning offers benefits for language learning and also teacher professional development. As far as students are concerned, it offers a flexibility, it gives them motivation, and also they get exposure to speak to native speakers and all other benefits can be exploited by the student by making use of ICT in the better way. Whereas for teachers, ICT is useful for easy preparation. Variation, they can use various types of teaching methods. And also they are also getting exposure to native English. And also the tel technology enhanced learning allows for collaborative learning, group learning, and they are sharing their views, ideas about that also. John Sherrissar has mentioned last week. And also we are getting a simulation of real world scenarios while using or involving with the uh, tel. There are also, we, while we categorize technologies that can be non-web based learning also. Radio and television, we can say non-web based learning, but these are also tools that provide access to extensive curricula. Even in the remote areas, the people, even some uh, universities, you know, they share, they relay their program through radio and television. So in such a way they can expose learners to language in a current context. Another one, non-verb based learning is films. Films are also effective in presenting knowledge, skills and background while creating curiosity of students. Another learning is learning method is using language labs. It is a cutting and technology tool that enhances learning of the English language in a result focused program. And also we are using projectors, which is the replacement for what we have previously using that is chalk and discussion methods. They also provide visual assistance to help our students to understand the context while we use projectors in the classroom. At the same time, online education, which offers well-designed, 
learner centered affordable interactive official and flexible e learning environments that provide instruction in fundamental language ability there are also some popular technologies that can be used to promote education or language learning today first one is we can say youtube youtube can be used to discover and share real videos even i say uh, my children they are preparing for neet even if they are attending online and offline classes sometimes they are confused they go through youtube videos even that was done by hindi people uh, hindi speaking people so seeing this youtube that they make use of so there are different videos available today for any topic under the sky in youtube so even our students can be used youtube to discover uh, their learning another aspect is emails emails also can be used students can use it communicate with native speakers even they can communicate with uh, teachers even with their peers by sending emails even they can get feedback also about their work even sometimes even i also ask our students to send emails their assignments so no need to print let them do as email attachment so that's also so this emails is also another popular technology used in education today another one is blogs it's very familiar one even it acts as online personal journals many of us have the blogs and it can be used to promote interactive and to improve our communicative writing another social media skype it can be used to improve speech and pronunciation and even we can communicate with the native speakers via skype cellular phones can be used for expanding our vocabulary whenever we come across doubts of some words difficult words if we using even using your phones we can uh, understand we can find out the meaning of difficult words even we can use it to clarify the doubts through sending sms and another means is ipods which can help improve listening pronunciation vocabulary grammar and writing skills what are the significant ict tools utilized in elt that we have already mentioned overhead projectors radio television online communication tools all these can be effectively used for significant usage of ict tools and in such a way we can develop the student skills that is listening speaking reading and writing also would like to say what is the use of social media in language learning so we cannot skip the social media because it has grown as a communication tool today it is providing a venue for exchanging ideas and creating blogs there are many english language study groups on social media they are offering opportunities for students to share their information the social media like facebook twitter and instagram are accessible for language learning today internet sources such as online training virtual classroom e guidance are possible today we are getting online courses and feature films are also useful in our english instruction and these courses online courses and movies have motivating power for rewarding educational experience before concluding i would like to talk about say about 
what is the next generation of english teacher or what what is the role of next generation english teacher we can say they must be adapt to fully utilize modern technology in the classroom the communication and collaboration systems are or should be frequently used in ict technologies even for managing knowledge even instructors can use social networking sites mobile apps online dictionaries radio television and other accessible data based subsystems in language teaching and learning technology based learning methodologies include micro learning personalized learning blended learning mobile learning open and distance learning all these facilities can be combined and used by the next generation teacher also what are the applications of ict in elt or ict for elt in the beginning i mentioned that english is now recognized as a global language so ict must be integrated into teaching methods to enhance the language learning process ict enabled english language classes have been found to be effective for improving teaching and learning today by using ict language acquisition can improve learning efficiency and effectiveness this kind of platform is adaptable interactive and rich providing a unique learning experience for user we are in a digitally advanced world students are proficient in using technological tools even they can interact with others through electronic channels so in that way ict is become a very vital part of their daily lives and how this can be effectively used in their education that's the question today before concluding let me say some limitations of this ict tools usually students frequently fail to learn the specific goals of english language instruction they never give more importance to english language learning when they are make use of this ict tools students frequently lose focus on their goals and they indulge in pointless work because we are giving maximum freedom of time and space to them so we cannot monitor how they make use of these ict facilities today even after post covid period most of the students have this ict tools or ict facilities and we cannot ensure that they make use of it fully for their educational purpose another limitation is the usage of recorded programs when they frequently watch it they feel it bored and which contributes to the issue of classroom in discipline that's why last day john shaker has sir has mentioned about flip classrooms we share videos in advance let them refer it at home then come to the classroom then we discuss about that we are showing everything in the classroom itself they may be they feel bored because they are getting fewer opportunities to actively participate in the teaching and learning process so while make use of ict sometimes students remain passive and inactive because they have that means at home or even in their hands itself the mobile is with them actually 
uh, I forgot to mention about MOL, mobile assisted language learning. Using mobile phone itself, we can learn, we can study a lot. So that we have to train them properly how to make use of mobile assisted language learning. And we have to introduce mobile apps to them and how it can be effectively used. At the same time, we need technical training to use ICT tools that is essential even for teachers as well as students. So we are not getting sufficient training, technical training for the usage of ICT tools that is also a need of the hour. As a concluding note, let me say, with the help of technology, teachers will be leaders in the transformation of education around the world. Without the support of teachers, we cannot make changes in the world. So teachers are the top buyers of even the technology advancements or technology usage in our classrooms. Let me conclude. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Dr. Viju, for uh, such an insightful and comprehensive session, sir, uh, taking us through uh, the basic and the most uh, complex nuances of ICT in, in uh, ELT. Uh, technology uh, in, uh, enhanced learn language learning and web enhanced language learning, computer assisted language learning and mobile assisted language learning. It was indeed a very fruitful session. Now we begin with the interaction interaction session. Uh, okay. Participants, if you have yeah, participants, if you have any questions, do post them on the chat box, and I request Dr. Viju to address the questions. Okay, sure. Do we have questions, participants? Okay, so uh, to begin with, sir, uh, how uh, how important is uh, ICT in uh, teaching uh, speaking skills to students? Okay, okay. So speaking skills is an essential when we talk about all the four skills. So for when we are talking about four skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing, speaking is a productive one. So usually our students find difficult to speak in English because they are not giving much opportunities to students in speaking. Usually teachers may be talking and students are not getting enough chance. So they may be given the chance by conducting speeches, by conducting dialogues, by uh, I, telling them to perform dramas, or tell them to watch videos, videos of great speeches. Even they can attend the language labs. Language labs, there you are getting many chances of improving the language skill. So language lab is a very good means to improve our speaking skills. At the same time, make use of the classroom activities like even in my class, uh, even I am giving students for each day, they have to take a topic and they have to say, at least they have to talk about five minutes. So in such a way, they can improve their speaking and also we can tell them to enact dramas in the classrooms or we assign some roles or role plays to students. In that way, we can try to improve the speaking skills of our students. So if they want models, if they want to see some um, great speeches, just search the YouTube videos, they can see the speeches, they can watch it and they can perform it in all these means. Anyway, ICT is very effective to use to improve the language skills, especially the speaking skills of our students. 
So there are many chances, even in the internet itself, in the Google sources. So make use of that. But teachers have some more responsibility to give some chances to students to speak in the classroom in English. I hope it's clear. Right. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, another question here. Uh, can ICT replace the traditional methods of teaching, sir? Sure, ICT can be replaced by making use of technologies. But at the same time, it's, uh, we cannot say everyone will follow this ICT means. Students have different abilities, different interests. So some of them may be more familiar with the traditional methods of lecture method or grammar translation method or bilingual method. So that's why even uh, recently uh, UGC has given an order that even you can teach in mother tongue. Even the contents can be taught in mother tongue. So that means we are going back to the traditional methods. So I suggest let it be a blended method using both technology and at the same time the traditional methods in our classroom. So there may be some students who are more accustomed to technology, whereas others may not be more familiar to technology. So this blended method make use of both the, uh, both the ways, traditional and the modern, that uh, ICT ways can be combined together in the classrooms and make use of the both. Maybe that the, the concerned teacher may decide how far they can go with the traditional method and how far they can make use of this ICT. That may be film, uh, that may be projector, uh, or that may be the uh, language lab classroom, whatever may be. So the teachers may decide uh, how how we can uh, the, may make use of this blended method of teaching using traditional as well as ICT ways. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. One more question up on the chat box by Supriya K. Uh, could you share one experience in teaching literature by using ICT or how far uh, have you seen it uh, as an effective teacher? Okay, okay, okay. It's a nice question, Supriya. Actually, uh, actually, in um, um, the beginning, they have mentioned that I have done my PhD in um, application of ICT in communicative language learning. Actually, as part of that, I had conducted surveys amongst um, higher secondary teachers and students. And I have conducted the, uh, the what we say the survey and in the survey that was um, uh, happened in Trishore district as well as um, Karnavalam district, most of the students and most of the teachers from these districts recommended the use of ICT in teaching language. Even getting that, getting that survey report, even myself, in my, actually, in the beginning, I was a higher secondary teacher while I was doing my research on this field. So I had conducted traditional method of teaching for my plus two students. Thereafter, I had taught them using the technology, showing movies, uh, showing videos. Even I taught a particular poem that is uh, while uh, uh, what we say, uh, uh, um, Bacon, sorry, Francis Bacon, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Robert Frost poem. I, I took a particular poem, Robert Frost, and I taught it traditional way. Then I have taught them using this ICT way, showing the video of that particular poem. And I didn't explain, I didn't use the text, just show the video. Then 
I try to convey my ideas without using text, only by using the technological ways, ICT ways, showing videos and other ways. And even after conducting using ICT, most of the students, only a few might have some difficulty, but most of them are proved that using ICT is an effective way of even teaching literature. Not only the grammar, we can make use of ICT even in teaching literature also, to teach a drama, to teach a poem, to teach a prose, all. They can read at home all this. Why we should read one by one each sentence and giving explanation? You show some video, show some films, or give some discussion. Or in that way, we can lead them, we can make use ICT even in teaching literature roles. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I don't see any uh, more questions on the uh, chat box, uh, so probably we might move on. Thank you so much, sir, for answering the questions elaborately, especially based on your own experiences. As we come to the end of day two of the webinar series, I call upon Ms. Henna Rafi with words of gratitude. Henna, over to you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes. Warm greetings of the evening. Respected resource person, Dr. Viju MJ, Professor Dr. Sanad Raji, head of the department, delegates, teachers, and my dear friends. The webinar series with the thrust area ELG is in its second day. Dr. Viju MJ, resource person of the second session of the webinar series, has very beautifully put across the nuances of teaching of English language and Am I audible? Hello? Hello? Continue. Yes, Hello. Hello. Audible. Hello. Okay, okay. So, uh, Dr. Viju MJ, resource person on the second session of the webinar series, has very beautifully put across the nuances of teaching of English language and literature. He has spoken effectively on the paradigm shift in the field. On behalf of the delegates, organizing committee, and on my personal behalf, I extend a warm gratitude to Dr. Viju MJ. Thank you. I would like to convey sincere gratitude to head of the PG Department of English, Professor Dr. Sanand Raji for guiding us at every step of organizing this webinar. Now, I extend hearty gratitude to delegates from India and overseas for the participatory attendance. Thank you. Thanks to Ms. Vadi and Ms. Meti Jovi, assistant professors of the PG Department of English for accomplishing their roles gracefully. A fragrant bouquet of gratitude to all members of faculty and students of the department. Hoping to meet you all again tomorrow, 27th April at 7 p.m. for the third session. Myself, Hena Rafi of second year MA English, signing off and declare that day two of the webinar series has come to a close. Thank you all. Thank you.